Well, good Sunday morning to you guys. We are back at the shop getting ready for wall art part two. So stay tuned. So we are just gonna get the furnace cranked up, get this place warm so that we can uh, do some painting. So guys, as I get my coat off and get ready to uh, start painting here, I want to know what you guys think the color is going to be for the wall art. So if you want to leave your color choices in the comment section below, we'll see who's guessing closest to the mark. So before we can start painting, what I've got to do is I've got to get the Honda CRV out of the shop and we are going to cover this up with tarp so that the white paint doesn't attract some of the overspray. That calls for a time lapse. Cue the music. So I think what we're going to do is we uh, we're going to come down here and paint because we've got air hose here and we've got a little bit more natural light coming in from these uh, these windows. The furnace is right there so it'll be blowing over here and hopefully warming this piece up. While we are waiting for the furnace to warm up I am going to grab, grab the hose. We're going to hose down the floor and get rid of any dust that might be sitting there that uh, could cause some dirt in the paint. So uh, I'm going to grab the hose and uh, we'll start with that. good there right now but in an effort to warm this up a little bit sooner I'm gonna grab the air dryer or heat gun and uh, see if we can't speed this process up just a little bit start uh, uh, painting this thing but first we've got to give it a final wash and then we can go mix some paint and start spraying so I've got this I've got this let's wipe her down cleaned up from the last time we used it, we're just going to put it back together and uh, get ready to spray. Gonna need some air. So one of the neat things about this gun is it does have a digital pressure regulator on it and According to my dad, when we're painting base coat, uh, he says you want to be somewhere around 14 PSI, so we're going to set it to 14 PSI. And how do you do that? You just pull the trigger, turn the knob, until it shows about 14 PSI. So now, we've got our base, and from here on out, I'm going to switch this over to black and white, so you can't see it until the final product. Or maybe I won't. mix this at three to one and it seems that we're only mixing a very small batch we're gonna to have to do a little bit of guesswork here so we're gonna go uh, one and a half and then reduce it up to two Let's see how well we do with this
little bit of reducer in there and make for a little bit of cleanup later on. Not a lot of paint, but we don't have a whole lot to spray either, so I think we're ready to roll. All right, so we got the mask. We're going to turn the fan on. Things are going to get loud, so I'll probably just speed this up a little bit for you guys anyway. Ready? Let's go. So that was just the first coat. We put it on very lightly and we're going to let that flash and we'll go back and probably put two more coats on. So our base is all set up, now it's time for some clear. We're going to try and get three coats of clear on this thing. I've mixed enough this time so I don't have to go back and mix another batch. So let's get spraying some clear. So one thing I will say about the clear coat is because you spray it a little bit higher PSI, the fumes and the overspray seems to go everywhere. The hairs on my arm are sticking together. Let's do coat number two. So this is it, this is the third and final coat. I don't know if I have enough for three full coats, but we're gonna use what we got. There you have it folks, we have got the wall art all painted with three coats of base, three coats of clear and it's just setting up drying. As you can tell behind me, the, uh, the clear coat fog is still quite thick so I'm not going to stay in here too long without a mask but uh, I do have the fan kind of trying to suck that out and I got the door open across the way, hopefully it's going to draw a little bit of a cross breeze. So let's take a look and see how well she turned out. So look at that color.
even over here with all those curves. I really am happy with the way this turned out. I don't even think I have any dry spots which is what I was worried about because when I was putting the color on initially I had a little bit of dry spots on some of the edges but I think the clear covered it up fairly good of course you're not going to see this top part anyway but and surprisingly not a whole lot of dirt but uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the garage door and let some of that natural light in we can take a look better look at it and there it is with some natural sunlight Man, there's a lot of metallic in that. But can you guys just imagine what it's gonna look like once we get the park lights, the headlight, the grill, and the chrome bumper across the front of it here? I think it's gonna look like a million bucks. I've always been a fan of the darker colors, especially like a dark cherry like this. I don't know what GM calls it. But man, it is a sharp color. We put this on a, uh, I think it was an 08, GMC pickup a couple of years ago we had to put patch panels in the rear of the box and uh, we painted the whole box that color and man it turned out really really well I like the color I don't like having to clean them because darker colors generally tend to get dirty quicker but anyways this will conclude this episode of getting this thing painted so up next we're going to start throwing some chrome on it and some trim and some headlights and all that sort of thing and start working towards a final project. That might not be in the next episode, but uh, we are gonna allow, I am gonna bring you guys along with the camera so that you can see every step of the way, uh, right up until the point we get it mounted on the wall. So guys, as part of this project as well, my license plate challenge is still on. So if you've got any spare license plates kicking around or just sitting around collecting dust that you might wanna get rid of, I have two addresses, a Canadian and an American. So if you're either in Canada or the US, please think about sending me your license plate and I will give you a shout out on this channel so that uh, you can get acknowledged and uh, we can get these things up on the wall. I want to basically wallpaper the whole front wall of my garage or at least enough to cover uh, where this thing is going and that will kind of be in the background. It'll be a wall of license plates with this hanging through the wall. Also, t-shirts and hoodies are for sale in the first link in the description box below, bonfire.com. You've got many sizes, many colors, and the prices, well, they're not too bad either. And they will ship right to your door. Thursday night live streams, we're, we're still going with that. We've had a huge success uh, with uh, some subscriber bases uh, jumping up there lately. Uh, with me and Straight Six Fan, I'm going to put his information up here as well as the second link in the description box below so you can go over to his channel. Straight Six Fan and myself, we co-host a Thursday night YouTube live and we call it Car Guy and Six Fan. It's a YouTuber hangout. You guys come along. We talk about automotive news. We also talk about our own channels as far as some of the struggles and some of the things that we're actually uh, doing that are positive, some tips and tricks, so to speak, as well as we give some YouTube shout outs to some smaller channels. So this upcoming Thursday, the live event will be hosted on my channel. So I will have a link down below so you can click that and when you get there, it'll say set reminder. So it will give you a notification when the time is within a half an hour of us starting. We start at nine o'clock Atlantic time, which is seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern. You can find out where your time zone is. You'll know from there when to join up. Guys, I always like to end every video with saying stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Stop it, stop it.